If you guys need any online or offline grinding, be sure to hit up Rose NBA. The link to his Twitter will be in the description down below. He can help you guys get Diamond Kyrie Irving, Diamond Brandon Roy, or just about any card you guys need in this game. So be sure to click that link in the description and hit him up now. What is up guys? We are back with another video and in today's video I'm gonna be telling you guys about a huge mistake you guys do not want to be making here in this game But before we do get into that guys I also wanted to bring something else up to your guys attention So if you guys don't know with salary cap, obviously, you know what the different cards we've gotten So obviously the first couple weeks or whatever was Brent Barry then it was Joakim Noah and now it is Antoine Walker However, at the end of that, obviously, guys, you do get a Victor Oladipo card. Now, one thing that a lot of people uh, probably don't know about, and I have to do find this card really quick. Okay, Oladipo did get changed to a point guard. Um, I'm not really like, I don't know how to feel about this, uh, and there's multiple reasons why. First things first, I actually stopped grinding for him because I didn't think he would obviously be able to play point guard. He was originally a shooting guard slash small forward. The reason why I didn't grind for him is because I didn't need another point or I didn't need another shooting guard. And now, unfortunately, or fortunately, either way you want to look at it, he can play PG. So uh, hopefully you guys were still grinding for him. Um, and hopefully you guys are able to go ahead and get him obviously as a PG now. Uh, so I just wanted to bring that to your guys' attention. But let's get into what this video is about guys now this is something that i honestly it's kind of my own fault about why i haven't made a video on this yet um it's something that i've known about for a while and again that i did not um honestly think about um so when it does come to locking and collections and everything i just want to go ahead and open up these random packs first um as we do already have zion of course uh, let's just go ahead and throw him into the sapphire pack um but yeah so anyway um you know when it comes into locking and collection so again guys you know like steph you know guys like t mac guys like luka Doncic, the brand new card as we do pull a free ruby i will take that we do get john stockton pretty cool there um but yeah so again as it comes into again getting these brand new sets of stuff guys um let's just use this brand new set as an example so dunktober you obviously do have luka Doncic. now when you guys go through and go each and every card you guys can see you know you have a guy like john morant who is going for 140 kmt DeRozan 140k, Towns 140k, and then you do have uh, Baron Davis, uh, you have Sergei Baca, and you do have Juwan Howard, all going for 63k, and then you have these other cards, obviously, you know, each card obviously has their set amount, right? Um, so if you were to do the math on these guys, like, let's just, I'm going to just use this as an example. So John Morant, uh, DeMar DeRozan and Carl Anthony Towns all going for 100k VC if you guys were able to go to the player market here and once you guys hit on Luka Doncic right you guys can actually buy the entire collection for 355k VC so if you guys didn't know this is a thing and maybe you guys are spending money on this game regardless you can actually save a ton of VC by buying the collection all at once and again this is something that a lot of people probably don't know about yet again I don't know why 2k doesn't make this like abundantly clear probably because they are trying to just maximize their profits instead of making their community happy but again guys this is something that I think a lot of people are doing and again that's why I'm making this video to help you guys save a lot of MT and vc now obviously this is only vc but one day i can see them integrating like some mt options or whatever into this it'll probably be like a ridiculous amount um but yeah so again like just going back into this guys you guys can see when you you this is what actually even annoys me more now that i'm looking oh it does have a buy option so when you hit x uh, if you're on xbox or square if you're on playstation again you guys do get prompted with it so 355k i just want to prove a point and again show you guys what i'm referring to here uh, going to Dunktober. Oop. Okay. All right. Here we go. So Dunktober again. So 300k already covered with these amethyst. When you guys look at one ruby, guys, you're basically already up to where you guys are. So I mean, again, it's another 45k for Ibaka, another 45k for Howard, 12k here, 12k, 12k, five, and then obviously you know it gets obviously cheaper as you go down. But nonetheless, you guys are still going to be saving a massive chunk. Like, I think you're going to end up saving like 70 to 80K and, uh, VC, just kind of doing fast math there, um, on completing these collections. So again, there is virtually no reason why, if you guys do have plans to go ahead and do this, there is no way or no reason why you guys are not just going into, again, the player market here and then just selecting buy all and buying it this way. 
I'm not advocating you guys to do this. I'm not telling you guys to obviously buy VC here, um, but obviously people are going to. Um, so for the people that are, you know, all money spent, or maybe you guys just really want one of these collections in the future, this is the way to do it. And this does apply guys, like I said, to even these brand new perfect build sets. Again, you guys can see buy all is 156K. I don't know why I went back to the menu and I realized I could have just scrolled through here. Um, but again, 156K, I mean, you have 95K here. Um, I actually want to I'll do the math on this one just really quick because I am kind of curious to see if it does actually work for all of these So you have 95 K here. You have 54 K here um, that Definitely works because the first three cards. Yeah, you're already at 189 K and then you obviously have a plus another 20 K here um, and then plus another 15 K so if you were to just buy all of these guys, uh, 156, 800, you guys would be saving 67,000 VC. So all of these sets, guys, you're gonna end up saving a ton of MT and stuff or uh, VC on, excuse me if you guys are doing it this way so again make sure you guys are not making this huge mistake because it can very much cost you not only a lot of money but just a lot of vc in this game in general um that can obviously be used for either future collections or whatever so it's like especially if you guys are going for diamond kd like just taking a look at larry bird now obviously if you guys don't know this as well if you guys already have cards in here so you guys can see obviously i have duncan i have chuck person um channing fry is free as well um this is gonna help you guys save a little bit um, but again, like the way that this works guys is that like, you know, if you do hit buy all and you already have cards, it's just going to give you guys duplicates. So make sure you guys do keep that in mind when you guys are doing this. Um, especially for guys like AI and, you know, Larry Bird or whatever. Um, obviously, you know, there is going to be free cards that you guys are going to be able to get through the agenda, or at least you should, which, uh, yeah. So you guys are going to be able to get Eddie Jones and Jermaine O'Neal for free, which is good. Um, but again, like this is just, you know, again, just another kind of a scummy thing that 2K is doing. Again, they don't have any way of telling people this. It's just, you kind of have to find it yourself, which not really the biggest fan of, but that's what I'm here for. That's obviously why I make these videos for you guys. And I will continuously, or obviously continue to uh, do that. So again, make sure you guys are not making this mistake with these packs, guys. I don't want you guys getting kind of scammed in a way out of uh, VC and stuff. If you guys are electing to go ahead and buy it and whatnot. So yeah, again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Um, it kind of covers everything I want to talk about. I mean, again, just showing you guys once again, make sure you guys are doing this. I, you guys can see I did not get Joakim Noah. Um, the reason why I did not is because, like I said, I didn't need another shooting guard on my team. Very happy with Clyde, um, OG, uh, Joe Dumars, Ron Artest. Like, I have Iggy, you know. Uh, I probably have other options even. Um that uh, we could go ahead and use like even marcus smart is pretty solid still i still do like dylan brooks i mean obviously desmond bain is very solid you have cam whitmore like there's a lot of wings in this game and that's again why i did not uh do it but oladipo would have very much been my backup point guards it's a little annoying but nothing i can do about it now i'm hoping that they do something um maybe you know they change this and give you an option to maybe get the last card like i feel like if you scroll all the way to the end instead of 20k you know maybe that additional you know 2500 points maybe you get the last previous card or whatever like that would have been a little bit better but it is what it is there so again thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed and yeah peace